Dr. Judy Wright, are you with us? Yes. Thank you so much for being on the call with us today. I know you actually help host a weekly call on essential oils, but for all the people that aren't as familiar with all of your credentials and your background, tell us a little bit about how you got involved in essential oils and nutrition. Well, I was going to medical school, and they sent me home to die with 31 drugs. Hey, there's got to be a story to that. <laughs> there is a story. <laughs> we are programmed in our world to do what the white coat guy tells us to do. So I did. I came home and laid in bed, waiting to die. Then this crazy herb lady came into my town, and some friends from church brought her over to my house after I told them, no, I was happily dying in my bed. And my mother had a house key, so she let them in, and I didn't know they were coming and not pleased with it. So she muscle tested me and read my eyes and did all this stuff and told me, oh, honey, you need this nutrient and this nutrition and this supplement and, you know, this calcium. And I thought, oh, you are crazier than a bed bug. So we talked a little while, and she was a nice lady. I really liked her, but I thought she was kind of nuts. And I said, hey, if this stuff is so good, why don't the doctors know about it? And she just kind of laughed. So she laughed and gave me this list of stuff that I needed to get myself well and out of bed. And I thought, she's crazy. But I told her, I said, okay. She said, if you will take all this the way I tell you and the amount you need, I will send it to you as soon as I get back home. She lived down south. If it works, you can pay me double. If you die, it's a tax write-off and who cares? You know, I don't know you. And I thought, well, that's kind of rude. So I thought, I'm going to take her up on this challenge and just let her feel bad then when I kick the bucket on all this voodoo stuff. Well, guess what? In a month, I was up walking around again. And in three months, I dumped all my 31 drugs down my toilet flushed them and told them adios and never went back to the doctors, which made them very mad. I got nasty letters from them and nasty phone calls firing me because I wouldn't obey them. And I thought, they don't pay my bills. Why do I have to obey them? They don't live with me and know how I feel now. I feel much better. So that was a short kind of long story (laughs) of how I got into nutrition. So I went to a Christian naturopath school instead of finishing medical school. And I love it. Helping people is so much fun, as you know. And seeing the difference in them when they come dragging in, then a week or two later they come back to get refills and see how much better they're doing. So it's just awesome what the proper nutrition and the supplements and some oils can do for you and different things that we have. And it's so neat that we have them all available to us, both the oils and all the supplements. It's just amazing to see the difference in people. And I know you've witnessed a lot of that, too. Yeah, I and I have not quite the same story, but I was in pre-med as well when I got the Dead Doctors Don't Lie oh. and had realized that there's no nutrition in medicine. They were intentionally ignoring the research. It's in the medical journal. It's been publicized. It, it's overwhelming. For example, selenium and cancer, there's over 4,000 research articles listed on PubMed.gov linking to and cancer, but yet they don't use it in treatment. Now, why is it that they're not using it in your experience? Do you think that they just don't know about it, or are there powers that be that actually know about it and intentionally choose to ignore it? I think they don't want to know about it. If they do hear the word supplement or nutrition or selenium, like out in the far left booty fields, if they call it, they don't want to know about it. We won't make any money on it. When I was in medical school, they told me that you never, never spend more than five minutes with a patient or you're losing money. So it's all about the money. You know, people come here, sometimes I'll spend an hour, two hours with a couple and explain all the nutrients and why they need them and what they're for. And then the next time they come, I don't have to go through all that. But I think it's fair to them, whereas doctors don't care about if it's fair to them or not. And I think it's kind of an innocent, not just bad mouth and doctors all the time, but I think they're trained to be in that mindset where they don't listen. They don't want to learn. You know, they think all this stuff is just hokey stuff and they don't need it. Nobody needs it. But yet at the cancer clinic, I went down there to see the signs that I had heard about. There were several signs posted around there that they wanted some 
men in particular, or any of the cancer patients that were willing to try this trial study on taking selenium and vitamin E for, and it listed, prostate cancer and breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and anyone to sign up with your doctor or at the front desk. So I go to the front desk and I said, hey, how many have signed up for that? And the girl says, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, the signs that are all over every wall in here, that they want people, it's a trial study on selenium and vitamin E. None of them had a clue. And, of course, no one had signed up for it. So evidently no one asked about the signs on the wall, and they had no takers. Well, why did they have the signs up? And I thought that was really interesting, and that was several years ago when I had heard about it, and I went down there to check out the signs. Sure enough, they were clustered everywhere. So why is it that doctors in the other world out there besides the health gurus don't want to know about getting healthy? If I saw something on a sign and I was down there getting cancer therapy and I thought, hey, a new free trial study, well, the word free would catch my attention and just a mineral and a vitamin, I think I would want to try it. Me with my common sense would tell me, hey, if that's a free thing and it doesn't hurt you and it's just a vitamin, why not try it? But I don't know, Blake, why are people so opposed to trying good nutrition? I just, I don't understand it. And unfortunately, we have a number of people on the call with us, and they are helping a number of other people understand more about it because that's where we specialize. We need to educate people about it. We're all and that people. kind of brings us into this conference call. I know there are a few things that you specialize in treating people, and I know one of them is actually a product that you are the expert on that we use on a regular basis for healthy thyroid support. And if it's okay, can you tell us a little bit about this magic of Ocean's Gold? Well, it's an awesome product. And Ocean's Gold, I did create it about mid-90s for my dad. He was going to the heart doctor. He had a cardiologist here, the best in town, very well known. And he had gone to him for nine years. And every two weeks, they did an EKG and they adjusted his medication he was on. He was on, I believe, three at the time. And they would change this one to one a day, that one to a day, yada, yada. And never could fix him. And he was always afraid he was going to have a heart attack and they couldn't adjust his irregular heartbeat. Well, when I got real smart and went to naturopath school and came back home, he was my guinea pig. So I had the raw ingredient at the time for the Ocean's whole product. And I told him, I said, I want you to try this because I learned in school, you know, here was a little school girl coming home to daddy. <laughs> And, you know, my kids were grown then and everything, but he was so good to be my guinea pig when anything I wanted to try on him. And I said, I learned that the thyroid controls your heartbeat, not your heart. That's why they can't fix it. He said, okay, what do I need? And so I got him on this. And the next time he went back to the heart specialist, two weeks later, the doctor told him, this is word for word from that cardiologist, he came back in there and slammed a chair down and says, I want to know what you're doing. And, oh, my dad was scared to death. He thought, man, I've got a bad EKG. I'm dying. What's wrong with me? He said, you have a book perfect EKG today, and I want to know what you're doing. Wow. And my dad said, oh, well, uh, 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 you know, stuttered around and said, I'm just taking a bunch of vitamins and herbs and stuff that my daughter got me. He said, well, it better not be those raw herbs from Morris. You know, I'm just across the border a mile from Mexico here. And people go over there and buy all that stuff from the big city open market. And he said, it better not be those raw herbs in those barrels. And he said, oh, no, they're from here. And she knows what she's doing and yada, yada. So he said, well, next time you come in in two weeks, I want you to bring her. I want to see her. And I thought, oh, boy, they're going to throw knives and daggers at me. So I went with him and the doctor comes in there and says, oh, you're the little lady that knows it all. I said, no, sir, I don't. I said, but I'm the expert in my field, and you are the expert in your field. Oh, he didn't know what to say then. But my dad proved to him that the ocean's goal corrected his irregular heartbeat. He never had another one on the day he died. And the doctor dismissed him and said, well, you've got her. You don't need me. And he was real mad about it. Because for nine years, he had made a whole lot of money off my dad. Well, now he wasn't yeah. going to make any because he was getting well. So that's how Ocean's Gold started out. 
And since then, we've learned so much that the ocean's gold helps people. I'm working with a girl right now she, that had panic attacks, and she's got real bad anxiety, and everything scares her. She has already been on it for about three weeks now and has seen such a difference. She came back to buy some more, and she said, I don't want to ever be without this stuff. I said, I told you, keep it in your purse. It is like gold to you. That's why it's called Ocean's Gold, because it's got all the sea vegetables and sea minerals in it. And it is like gold to us that need it. And I usually take about six to eight a day, because I have a hypoactive thyroid, the lazy thyroid. And people with a lazy thyroid, the hypoactive, usually have a tendency to gain weight easier. They're more sluggish. They don't have the energy that others have. Your hair might fall out, either hyper or hypo. So when you have a loss of hair, the energy level, your hormones are acting up because the thyroid controls hormones. So women that get on the women's FX, they get more help if they're on the ocean's gold and the women's FX. But the anxiety and the panic attacks, depression, slow learners, whether it's adults or kids in school, the ocean's gold helps them. So it's just an amazing product and what it does for so many reasons. And with the bladder rack and chlorella of adults, the kelp, the sea cucumber, sea lettuce, spirulina, and CoQ10. And why I originally put CoQ10 in it was because of my dad's heart problem. And we know that CoQ10 is an enzyme produced by the heart that helps with the heart and the oxygenation of the blood and the body and everything. But we couldn't put too much. They only let me put five milligrams in it because if you've ever priced CoQ10 by itself, it's a very expensive nutrient. So they put a minimum in there to help. And if they had put too much, it would make it be more expensive. But it's got some expensive ingredients in it. And that's why people always ask, and I don't know, Blake, if you've been asked, but why do most of the other products have 90 in it or 100 and the Ocean's Gold only has 60. It's because of the CoQ10 and the other very expensive ingredients in it. But it is gold for those that need it. And like this girl that keeps it in her purse because of her panic attacks and anxiety. She's a speech therapist at one of the school districts here. And she says, I can't be helping these little kids if I can't help myself. So I said, well, that's one you need to keep with you and keep in your purse. Take a couple if you feel that coming on. And she's learned to do that, and now she doesn't have to take as many as she originally did. So it's an awesome product for so many reasons. And even people that are on some of our weight loss programs and products, when they can't lose the weight they think they need to lose, get them on the ocean's gold, maybe four a day, six a day, because your thyroid controls your weight gain or loss also. People that are more hyperthyroid, they need as many too, and they're more prone to be the ones that have the anxiety and panic attacks than usually the thinner person. So there's a lot of things involved with the thyroid. It's really interesting when you start studying it all. So if somebody was already using the 90 essential nutrients that Dr. Wallach always talks about, but they're looking to add on the ocean's gold, if it's all right, talk about some specific things to look for and say, okay, this could be a place where... The nutrition from the ocean school can give you additional support. You mentioned if they have an overactive thyroid and an underactive thyroid, you're saying it it can work for both of them. You mentioned weight loss there. Also, anybody dealing with hormonal issues or hormonal imbalances, especially women using the women's effects or the the bust effects, the balance effects, does that mean that the thyroid can actually play a role in, say, fertility issues as well? Oh, it can, big time. I've worked with several girls that they couldn't get pregnant. And they had done everything that everybody had told them. When they added the ocean's gold, they all finally did, except one girl in California, I'll never forget her. She refused to do that. She says, oh, my thyroid's fine. My doctor did a test on it about five years ago, and it's just fine. I said, well, it's always involved, though, with this. And I said, it's not going to hurt you, and it's just sea minerals and sea vegetables. And if it helps, hey, why not try it? She refused to do it because her doctor told her her thyroid was just fine. But the ones that have done it, that had a problem with that, they have seen a difference. So if someone was taking it for hormonal support, what is your recommendation on dosage and when should they take it? Do they normally just take this with meals? 
it really doesn't matter. Most herbs and things, and this is more on the herbal side, are fine anytime in between meals. And the rule of thumb is herbs between meals and vitamins and minerals with some food. Because sometimes people will take a multivitamin or a big dose of their minerals on an empty stomach. And it kind of makes their stomach feel queasy. Well, that's why the rule of thumb is vitamins and minerals with food and herbal supplements without food. Mm -hmm. You know, unless you kind of have a queasy stomach anyway. But if you were going to start it just because you wanted to try it, I would do four a day, like two in the morning and two mid-afternoon. Yeah, and like I said, it really doesn't matter that much, but usually between is kind of better for it. But okay. don't take it at night because it does rev up the metabolism, which your thyroid is your metabolism. So you don't want to take it at bedtime because it might keep you awake. I know I did that one time. <laughs> and I stayed awake for a long time counting lots of sheep. <laughs> so. Yeah, we know that when we give the body enough energy, sometimes it's like you don't need as much rest. But that's the next thing. Right. Anyway. And people that don't sleep well too, Blake, Normally, it's a lack of calcium in minerals, and if you'll take your last dose of, I take uh, two or three king calcium between supper time and bedtime, and my last glucosamine product and the minerals sometime at night, usually always just in the morning is when I need them. But you'll sleep better if you have more calcium and minerals and all that toward bedtime. But if you take your ocean stone during the day, that helps control sleep patterns. So people mm. that tell me, well, I take my calcium and minerals at bedtime and my glucogel or whichever glucosamine type product they're using and I still don't sleep, I don't rest right. Well, it's because your thyroid's off. Thyroid has to do with sleep patterns. So that little thyroid gland is very, very, very important. Most people and most doctors don't give it the importance that it should have. So if you get your thyroid more in balance, then your sleep patterns are going to be better at night, and then the calcium and things at night will help you sleep better. For so somebody with an irregular heartbeat, since that can be affected by the thyroid as well, if they want the thyroid support, are they going for essentially the same recommended, recommended dosage for a day? I would do at least six a day, three in the morning and three mid-afternoon, but not at bedtime. Not after, say, 6 p.m. or so, unless you work all night or you know, got to adjust it. But normally, you know, if a person's getting ready for bed by 10 or 11 o'clock or between 9 and 11, say, you don't want to take the ocean skull past, say, 6 o'clock. So I take my three in the morning and my other three, oh, about 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon because usually in the afternoons there's a lot of people's downtime. You know, the little tired yawns now and then will happen sometimes right. at 2 and 4. And uh-huh. I take mine during that time so I don't have that issue. And if I know I'm going to have a meeting or do something late at night and be out later, I might wait a little later to take it or take an extra two before I leave because I know me. I just have that lazy thyroid and I get tired easier than a person that doesn't have that severe thyroid problem. But don't let them take out your thyroid, people. Oh, my goodness. That is a popular thing to do. Go ahead, JC. I have a question. What if somebody's already had their thyroid removed? You still need it, and you need more of it, probably about at least eight a day. I've got one lady that's taken nine a day, and she's finally doing good. She's doing three, three, and three. Thank because you. you still have some tissue in there that needs support. You know, the thyroid itself is gone, but there's still tissue in there that you can support. Maybe they didn't take out the parathyroid. You know, your thyroid is like a little bow tie. And in the middle is the thyroid. On each side is the, what they call the parathyroid. Sometimes they leave those and just take out the main thyroid. So if that's the case, or they've taken it all and you still have some tissue left, you still need it. And just like I have guys who've had their prostate removed, they still need the prostate X and the super KB. So because there's still some tissue in there to support. Okay, excellent point. For hyperactive versus hypo. Or overactive thyroid versus underactive. Do you do any difference in both with the recommended amounts? Not really, except some of the hyperactive sometimes need a little more. Usually about six a day is pretty normal for most people that have an issue. 
sometime eight a day. But I have found over the years that the hyper, the overactive, sometimes they need a little more because they tend to be more anxious, the panic attacks and all that. Whereas the hypo, sometimes, if you don't get enough, you tend to be more depressed. Don't let them give you antidepressants. They should be called depressants. They're not antidepressants, they're depressants. So if anybody tells you, oh, I need an antidepressant or I have panic attacks or anxiety, get them on the ocean soul. That's the answer for it. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Now, you mentioned just briefly there, we heard a little bit about super KB. That's K for awesome kidney topic. and B for bladder. Right. We just have a just uh, two, three minutes left. Can you tell us a little bit about the Super KB? Yeah, we need to spread the word on this more, people. I get questions every day, every day, every day. What do I take for a fibroid cyst? Do we have any product for a fibroid cyst or ovarian cyst or any kind of cyst? Yes, the Super KB. Anything on the kidney meridian, it takes care of if you have a kidney bladder infection, uh, you know, the UTIs, whether you have a little blood in the urine, whether you have painful urination, Super KB is the answer. And we've had a lot of girls with fibroid cysts. I had a guy with a fibroid cyst. He had this big knot on his right underarm near the breast tissue, and the doctor says, oh, no, only women have those. I don't think so. Men can have breast cancer, too. So anyway, I've got him on four or three times a day of the Super KB, and you know that thing is shrinking? It was so big, I could put my whole hand around it. And that thing has shrunk up now where my hand is loose around it now. And it's been on it about a month. What is it in the Super KB that makes it so effective? Well, several things in it make it shrink some tissue, which is the Pygeum, which is also in our CrossFitX product, because that will help shrink tissue. And then the devil's claw and the horsetail that are very good for cysts and things. A lot of people in the past would run to the health food stores and buy horsetail by itself, which is an herb, not from a horse. And the horsetail would help shrink up the cyst. Well, that's why I put it in here. So we have the cranberry, which is a lot of people who take cranberry pills or cranberry juice, you know, when they have a kidney bladder problem. A lot of women that have those. And that's being exposed to any kind of urinary tract infection. Right. So it's the first ingredient in there. And then the uva ursi. That's a natural diuretic. So that's in there for people that have water retention. You know, a lot of people have water retention around their knees or ankles more so than other parts. And they need to elevate their legs, of course. But they need to take at least four twice a day. If you have a worse problem, up it to four at a time, four times a day. Especially if you start having some blood in your urine or a little painful urination, start to have a UTI of some sort. If you would do four, about four or five times a day, for two days, you can knock it out. But you've got to take enough to do the trick. If you just took one here and one there and one tomorrow, and it's not going to work. And so heavy doses awesome. for a shorter period of time kind of to okay. rev up the system. Right. And that's one that you don't need all the time, you know, like our calcium and minerals and maybe ocean's gold. I need that every day. But only if I have a little problem do I ever need to take the Super KB. I take it now and then if I feel a little water retention maybe or if I'm going on a trip driving because I can't drive from here to across town without stopping for the bathroom. <laughs> People that have an incontinence problem, it just helps you get over that situation too. You need to take at least four twice a day, but probably if you have that problem, you need to do it four, three or four times a day, maybe for a couple of weeks, and then go down to four twice a day, which would be an eight total a day, until you kind of get over it. And then you can, maybe it take you through a whole bottle or two the first time, but then you may not need it for a while. Then if you start having the problem again, go back to it and take it again. So it's not one that's like a nutrient we need every day, Blake, like we would our basic 90 or our calcium or something. When we talk about herbs, we talk about these being plant medicines that oftentimes uh -huh. they're not one of the 90 essential nutrients that we need on a daily basis, just on specific occasions, kind of like the killer biotic. You know, if you have an infection, we use yeah. it. If you have the water retention, if you have kidney problems, if you said any kind of abnormal growth, 
in the kidney meridian, you call it, but in, in right. that basic area then, that's when the herbs that are in that super KV can help you have, help support healthy tissue and help your body right. get back to the reset, back to the way it wants to be. So the recommendation is four, four twice a day, twice like a day. four in the morning, four at night or evening. And for severe problems, you, you double that. You could do four, four right. twice a day. I had a lady that came in, she was kind of bent over, she was just starting to have a UTI, she started that urinary tract infection that morning, and she had a little blood in her urine, and she didn't want to get antibiotics and go to the doctor, because then you get a yeast infection, and you got to take a lot of acidophilus, and here we go. So she came dragging in, and she needed four, six times a day for three days, and then four, twice a day for, you know, a couple of weeks. And she was over it, all in less than a Week or the first day, she could tell a difference. She told me the next day she had no more bleeding and no more pain. And usually when you have one of those, you hurt and you're in bed for about a week. So it's an awesome right. little product. Just some real simple ingredients. You know? Fantastic. Dr. Judy Wright, we appreciate you being on and for all your contribution, not on just this call, but everything you do with the Angelity family and Dr. Wallace, 90 for Life Crusade. We haven't even mentioned the essential oils, and I know that's a topic that we could talk about for hours and hours and hours. And still have <laughs> right. a lot of time, a lot of things left to share. So we'd love to have you back on this product update call sometime in the near future as well. Okay, anytime. Hey, thank you so much for being on. This. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this call. Thank you for all you do to share Dr. Wallace's 90 for Life message and these incredible products. And now we've learned about two additional add-ons we can do for the 93rd Life Essential Nutrient Program, the Ocean's Gold and the Super KB, which are both under the ancient legacy line. Hey, thank you very much. It's great to be on with you tonight. Dr. Judy Wright, are you still on with us? Yes. Fantastic. Well, I'm happy to be on this call. Here's a product update call for Yachty. And I know that one of the recording conference calls that I probably had the most request for is actually one we did in, in July of last year when we talked with you, Dr. Wright, about the Ocean's Gold and the Super KB. And when we look at the soft tissue, you know, we use the healthy heart pack as kind of the basis for people with soft tissue damage. But there is some special people there when we're dealing with thyroid and when we're dealing with kidneys. I know that has been something that you spent years as an expert. Can you tell us a little bit about your background again for the people that didn't hear you on the last conference call? Well, it's uh, <laughs> an old story about wanting to be a medical missionary all my life, and as a kid, and going to medical school and getting kicked out when I got so sick they couldn't help me. And they had me on 31 different drugs. <laughs> prescription. 31? 31. Knowing what I know now, it was all the side effects to drugs that did so much damage to me, but they couldn't help certain issues, so they kept giving me more drugs and more drugs and piling on, and I had three cholesterol medications, which was killing my liver, and they never told me that, of course. And it just got deeper and deeper, and finally I got so sick, they said, we think you just need to go home and get your affairs in order, and go to bed. So I was one of those robots in the past that did what the doctor said, which is really a dumb thing to do. And I go home and tell my family, and I laid there in bed and counted the little dots on the ceiling, and I thought, well, I don't feel that bad. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to croak any time today. So uh, a crazy herb lady from the South came to see me, and she told me, well, honey, you're on too many drugs. And I said, well, that's what the doctors gave me. And she just laughed, and now I know why she laughed. And she said, well, why don't you try to get healthy? And I said, well, I'm doing what they tell me, because I knew nothing about nutritional sense. So sure enough, she got me on a whole bunch of stuff, and I started taking them and felt better. And the doctors got really mad. I had four main doctors here in this town. And they fired me and called me ugly names and everything else and wrote me letters that dismissing me because I wouldn't obey them and they could no longer be my doctors. And at first I thought, well, that's kind of upsetting. And then as I got to feeling better and better and better on the nutritional things I was taking, I threw all 31 drugs down the toilet in there, right, and flushed it twice. <laughs> And I started on all these nutritional things that this gal had me on. She was an iridologist and read my eyes and muscle tested me and told me all these things I needed. And 
Well, that was just a foreign language to me. But I did it and overcame and got well and healthy. And I still have some immune system problems, not having a spleen, so it affects my immune system. Anyway, in Ocean Gold, I found out that my dad needed it for his irregular heartbeat and put that one together basically for him. And his doctor fired him and told him not to come back, that he didn't have an irregular heartbeat anymore after nine years of having it. That's how Ocean's goal came about. So it's just been kind of a fun journey. Looking back now, it's kind of a sad journey that I had to go through all that to get to where I am today health-wise and, you know, loving the products and everything. So Ocean's Gold was one of my first and favorite ones. And these are all products that are in the Ancient Legacy line. And a lot of people only know Ancient Legacy for our wonderful essential oils. And they're just the best we can find out there. So the products that are in Ancient Legacy, like you said at first, they're more of a specialty product. You know, some things we must have every day are calcium and minerals and your vitamins and your EFAs and, you know, the original traditional supplements. But Ancient Legacy line has some that are a little bit different. For instance, Ocean's Gold is the only real product that we have for the thyroid. And the thyroid controls so much, you know, the heartbeat and hormones and weight loss and weight gain and hair falling out and all that kind of stuff. So that's a specialty item in itself for that one. Dr. Judy Ray, why do you think we have more and more people that are having thyroid issues? Well, I think it's because of the diet supplements, the aspartame, the NutraSweet and that. And people don't eat right. They eat junk food. And, you know, used to, we grew our own food and caught our own fish, and we had the proper supply of iodine in our body that we don't have now. And people use that fake salt, the no salt, and all those things. So people don't get that. And just yesterday, a 16-year-old kid at our church was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. So they're going to take it out next week. People, that's the worst thing you can do. Because the thyroid controls your emotions and depression, and anyone that's had it removed goes into depression. They have weird emotions, and they get put on all these medicines, Prozac and Paxil and all, and uh, you gain a lot of weight. Your thyroid is your metabolism. So we really need it, and it's because of our eating habits, our food supply now, people not having the right things to eat, and most people nowadays don't eat enough good fish, and it's hard to find that with our water supplies like they are. We're finding more and more research about the effect of GMO, or genetically modified exactly. crops, that yes. on our digestive tract. Do you think that is becoming a major factor for oh, people do. as well? I do. And on the Tuesday night call, Joanne talked so much about that and how it just really tears up our not only digestive system, but everything else and all the MSG that's in products now. So we really need to watch what we're buying and what we're eating and, you know, try to take care of ourselves. And this poor young kid at church, every time I see him after church, before church, whatever, has an energy drink from the store shelves, and probably that has something to do with it. But I know that aspartame and NutraSweet destroys your thyroid, and it destroys your pancreas. That's why you become diabetic a lot of times. So, yeah. I think that has a lot to do with it, and that's what's on the most of the thyroid situations. Yeah, I know a lot of people that have thyroid issues don't really know that they have thyroid issues initially. Can you give us some of the symptoms that you see in your practice of the people that do have thyroid problems? Well, weight gain. A lot of times, and I know some of our people even, that are taking some of our weight loss products and so forth, until they started on the ocean's goal, they couldn't lose all the weight they wanted to because this just gives your thyroid an extra boost and raises your metabolism. And that's the main thing with it. Others that have been depressed and on Paxil, Prozac, those kinds of things. A depression is a big thing, a big reason they would need the ocean's goal. So usually it's a depression, more so the weight loss. And then thirdly, the women that come in and say, they're combing their hair, they're brushing their hair, and it just comes out in handfuls. I get them on the Ocean's Gold and Minerals to prove to them, hey, that this will work, and then that will lead them into more supplements and get more things and trying more things. 
So, Dr. Ray, when we're starting somebody on the 90 central nutrients and they decide that they want to try the ocean school, let me ask, is there any concern for the people that maybe they have, if their thyroid is already healthy, uh, there's really no concern with the ocean school on it being a negative effect of any kind? No, not at all, because these are sea minerals that are in it, the kelp, the duels, and things like that, seaweed, different types of seaweed. And it's just going to help them get healthier. And some people find out it even helps their arthritis because people have gone to the ocean to soak for the seawater to get rid of arthritis. Same principle. You know, if they're kind of concerned, they could start with just two a day or maybe up to four a day. Most people that really need it need about six to eight a day if they really have a severe thyroid problem. So if somebody is looking for support, in addition to the 90 essential nutrients, you recommend them starting on six a day of the ocean's goal? Well, if they know they have a thyroid problem or they're wanting to lose the weight, yes. Now, how would they take that? Do they just take that with nails or is there a special measurement? Between that nails is a good time to take it. As a rule, vitamins and minerals with food and herbs between food. That's not always the case, and it wouldn't hurt if you took it with meals. The only thing you don't take any thyroid product with is calcium. You need to take that an hour apart. So if you're on a thyroid drug, even, Synthroid or some of those, or you're on the Ocean's Gold, you need to wait an hour between taking it and any calcium product or the minerals, which have a little calcium in them. Like the King Calcium Wafers, I take those, but I always make sure I'm not sucking on one of the wafers. At the same time, I take my Ocean's Gold, and I do take anywhere from six to nine a day of the Ocean's Gold because I have a very under thyroid, and it keeps me going, gives me energy, burns the fat. It's great. Now, I had a request to talk about the Super KD a little bit if we have time. Oh, absolutely. That's one that I know on our last conference call, the one from July 12th, 2013, we didn't get much time for the Super KV. And I did want to spend some time on that because, you know, the kidneys are so important in helping the body get rid of toxins. And I know that that whole area there is another one that seems to be a growing concern in a lot of people. Again, because of the diet and probably the trans fatty acids they're getting. We're getting a lot of kidney damage. We're getting a lot of kidney damage with the the nitrates and the nitrites that they're putting in a lot of the food as preservatives that damages the kidneys. Well, and I think nowadays it's all the Coke people drink, all the sodas, and all the coffee, all the caffeine, and the carbonation is very bad on the kidneys. So, again, back to our eating habits, and if a person has high blood pressure, your kidneys are always involved with that. If they're a diabetic, their kidneys are involved. So, a lot of people have a kidney issue for many reasons. And supporting the kidneys, uh, this is the only kidney bladder product we have, and it's called Super KB, and the KB, of course, standing for kidneys and bladder. And it's got some really simple little herbs in it. I mean, cranberry. We know that people drink cranberry juice sometime or eat a lot of cranberries if they have a kidney bladder problem. And it's got some bilberry in it. And it has devil's claw and horsetail. And both of those help with shrinking cysts and things or shrinking the tissue, whichever. And then the pygeum that's in it. We know that pygeum is in a lot of our men's prostate support products. So men that are taking a prostate product also should add the Super KD and they'll get better results. Now, if you've got any kind of kidney, bladder, urinary tract problem or a likeliness to have that, and some people, more so in women, I think, than men, tend to have an issue with that from time to time. And they'll start with just a little bit of burning and then when they urinate, they'll burn a little more. And if they don't take care of it immediately, by the next day, it's just excruciating pain and you can't stand not to do something about it. And most people go to the doctor and get an antibiotic. Well, that usually doesn't help. And if they do, they end up with candida and the yeast infection and all that, which we have to take a ton more of acidophilus for, a probiotic. But this also has uva earthy, which helps get rid of the water retention in our body and a little bit of white willow bark. And that's the natural aspirin, so to speak. The old Indians used to chew on the white willow tree, limbs and bark and pieces, to kill pain. 
So everything we need for a kidney, bladder, urinary tract infection is in this. So the Super KB is one we need to have on hand. And even I've had little girls soaking in bubble baths all the time, and they would start burning and itching, and their mom would take them to the doctor and so forth. So some of them I have gotten them to use this and keep this on hand and try to get rid of the bad bubble bath stuff they were using. And it will help, and kids can take it too. It's in a capsule form. You can open them up and dump them in a little bit of pudding or applesauce or yogurt. So it's real easy to get kids to take these that are in capsule form. Anytime you have a little problem, start on it immediately so it doesn't turn into a big problem. So that's one you really need to have on hand for that reason. Because when it hits you, it's going to hit you instantly. It's not going to give you a whole lot of warning. Dr. Wright, if somebody has that with your patients, what kind of dosage have you recommended? The normal dosage for it is four at a time, twice a day. But now if you're having the burning or the bleeding or the bigger problem, I would do it four at a time, four times a day. They had this problem one time five or six years ago when my son was in ICU for seven months. And standing there, I didn't drink enough water. When it was really bad, I wouldn't even leave to go to the bathroom to get a drink of water. Just standing beside of his bed. Well, that did me in. <laughs> and I started feeling it. And man, I started taking these. I started taking about six at a time, and I bet I did it about six times a day. But when you have a severe problem, you've got to take more. You've got to send in more soldiers to the battle to fight the battle. And I did, and I took more water with me the next day and drank a whole lot more water. But that's when I noticed, that, man, I had to have it immediately, and I'm glad I had it. And always have some on hand. But four twice a day is a normal dosage. If you just have some weak kidneys or maybe with your high blood pressure or something like that. And with fluid retention. So many people have swollen knees or ankles. And I know when you fly or you drive too long or something, your ankles or your knees tend to swell and have all that water retention in there. And it will help with that too. And I have several ladies on it for incontinence. And one of them started out with four, four times a day to help clean out the toxins and poisons out of the kidneys and drink a lot of water, people. Nobody drinks enough water. You need to drink a lot of water. And what doctors will tell you if you have water retention, oh, don't drink water. Just eat a little ice chip in the morning and one at night. Well, I know of two people in my family that died from listening to the doctors. One of them, they put her in the hospital so they could limit her water intake. She died about a week later. She had a kidney issue, and I told her about this, and she wouldn't listen because I'm family and I don't know anything. So the doctors limited her water. They wouldn't let her get up. They wouldn't let her husband get up. They took the water jug out of the hospital room. And sure enough, her kidney shriveled up and died. But if she would have started drinking more water and started on the Super KB, I firmly believe she'd be here today. Yeah, and Dr. Wallace always says when you're dealing with water retention, you're primarily looking at a kidney problem. So we're just limiting the water intake. Well, it doesn't fix the problem. It's like you, know, you, you know, need to drink more water to clean, cleanse them out and get rid of the bad poisons and toxins in there. Now, I'll tell you, right. when you start taking this the first time, and if you haven't had it or you haven't taken it in quite a while, it's not something that most people need every day. It's one of the specialty products like a sold. It's for people with a thyroid issue or think they have it or want to lose a extra weight. But the Super KB is specifically for kidney bladder problems, which water retention is one of them. Ovarian cyst is another one. Fibroid cyst in the breast is another one. And just cyst anywhere on the body. We had a lady Tuesday night that told us she had done this and done what I had suggested, and her cysts were all gone. So it does work, but if you take one a day, it's not going to work. So people have to take the amount they need for an issue, and it will work. It's an outstanding little product. I love it. Because this is also a normal product, and does this one also go between meals? That would be a good time. I do know people that take it with their meals, but it's probably better... If you took your, you know, multivitamin, your calcium and minerals with your food and then this one and the ocean skull between food might work better. That's when I take it a couple of times that I've needed it. I normally don't have an issue that I need this for, 
Well, go we ahead, drink enough water and put a drop of our lemon oil or grapefruit oil or peppermint oil in my water and drink plenty of water every day. But yeah, that would be a fine thing to do is take it between meals or first thing in the morning, last thing at night. Just, you know, make sure you take enough to do the job. And if you've got a serious situation like a fibroid cyst or something, I would be doing our frankincense oil and maybe the lemongrass directly on the breast so you had a cyst there. And I know a lady that did the frankincense oil and put the Super KD and she got rid of it in oh, about two months. And she started out with four or four times a day of the Super KB and then went down to four twice a day. And within two months, her fibroid cyst was on. So it's just a neat little product. It does so many different things. But see, everything we've talked about, Blake, like you said, is on the kidney meridian. It comes from the kidneys. So if you have water in the ear, earache kind of from that, kids will swim in all summer and have water in the ear, the Super KB will help get that water out of the ear. And I've had people that have had water around the heart and water in the lungs. And the doctor said, oh, it's pneumonia, you've got to go to the hospital. Well, what's the first thing they do in the hospital is lay you flat. So, therefore, your lungs are going to fill up with more water. So, if you ever go to the hospital, make them fit you up. Well, that's there's a reason. You can't. But, I mean, you know, crank the bed up a little bit. It will help with that, too. It's just a, a neat little product for anything on that kidney meridian. And he can be used in conjunction with the ultimate daily. I know that Dr. Laura Austin mm-hmm. encourages people okay. to use for kidney support to help clear up the arteries in the kidneys. Mm-hmm. Do you find when people start to use this product that you see an increase in urination? You okay. do. The first couple of days, and a lot of times people call me and they say, oh, no, I'm going to the bathroom 14 times a day. I said, well, good. Keep drinking plenty of water. Oh, no. Well, you need to drink plenty of water. You need to go to the bathroom a whole bunch. And it will increase that for the first couple of days you start taking it because it's trying to detox the kidney and the bladder and all the little tubing in there and get all the toxins out. So, yes, you will have an increase in it the first couple of days you start taking it. So if you're one like me (laughs) that always had to stop every hour down the road for me, not the kids, so I'll start taking it before I have to drive anywhere, like two days beforehand, just to strengthen the bladder, kind of like people with incontinence almost. So then you don't have a problem for the rest of the week. You know, take it a few days because the first day or two you take it, you'll have an increase in urine. That's right. And you don't want to have an increase as you're going down the road or take a day or two before you leave. So when we're talking, we call it the kidney and bladder, and that's important. A lot of people, when we look at it, they have kind of weak bladders, you know, or small bladders. And so if somebody is looking to strengthen their bladder, this is a great product. And it is. Obviously, probably the only product we have. It is. It's the only bladder. kidney bladder product specifically that we have. Yeah, the minerals help support the kidneys, and that's wonderful. And the calcium keeps the kidney stones away. But the Super KB is the only specialty kidney bladder formula we have. So, yeah, for incontinence or anything like that, it's it's awesome. And it will strengthen that up. Fantastic. If somebody's looking to get better results out of the products, how important is that in addition to taking the Ocean's Gold or the Super KB, is it to make sure that they build with digestive issues or work on strengthening the digestion? And I love our uh, Digest Plus. It's an ancient legacy line, and it's my favorite one. It's a little tiny capsule. And I had a lady today even email me and ask me about her two-month-old baby or grandbaby. I think it was her grandbaby. And uh, could they put one Digest Plus in his milk or in his bottle? Well, yes, you can. And I tell you, it helps a lot with the colic for those little ones. And this one is so little and capsule form that you can take it apart real easy and shake it up in a little milk or juice or put it in a bite of something if they're eating yogurt or applesauce or whatever you're feeding them. Because even our little bitty ones, they'll have colic, they'll have bad digestive problems. And this is my favorite enzyme of all of our enzymes because it has all eight plant enzymes in it, plus a little bit of the FOS, which is like a pre-probiotic, a pre-digestive product. And it's got some sea minerals in it, and it also has some acidophilus in it. So we still need more acidophilus, more probiotics, more good flora. So, you know, I take extra with it. But this is my favorite enzyme product, and it's just an awesome, awesome enzyme. So that's the Digest Plus. That is one that we do take with food or before meals, correct? Well, if you have some digestive issues, you take it with food. 
If you have other issues that need fixing, I don't care if it's cancer or a cold or sinuses or a bruise or a smash finger, you take enzymes between meals to help that heal up. And I always talk about this wonderful book called Enzyme Nutrition that a Dr. Edward Howell says, as a doctor, curing cancer or AIDS or anything that he's worked with these people, that they have to give them a lot of enzymes between food. And I know people that have the bulging arteries and veins and everything in their arms or on the top of their hands. You've seen people with that. It's a lack of good enzymes between food. Because when you take it with food, it's just helping your digestion. When you take it between food, it's doing more healing properties, which most distributors can't say that. But it helps fix a whole lot of things. So if you've got any kind of health issue, I don't care what it is, you take more of them between meals than you would with any meal. That can help the enzymes get actually absorbed those plants and get absorbed in the blood, and they can help break down the deposits and the anything that you have there that's clogging up the arteries. And right. that's one of the reasons that people would use it between them, right? That's right. And one of the drugs they had me on way back when was Coumadin. I was on Coumadin for nine years for a blood clot. Well, then they weaned me off into aspirin, and then I weaned myself off in the Digest Plus and taking a handful of them, five or six, every time I thought about it, and especially between meals. You're right. They use that for clots and arteries and different things, your veins, between meals to help that issue. So there's a whole lot of natural things we can do and learn, and hopefully on these calls we can learn from these things and learn from each other. And I just love doing it, and I love these products. Well, we want to thank you so much for your time this evening and for all you do to help share the crusade with people and make a difference in people's lives. We appreciate you being not only on this call, but helping to run the call every Tuesday night. And for all your contribution in helping to formulate these products and bring the ancient legacy line into longevity. Well, thank you, and thank you for having me. This recording is part of the weekly business school and greenhouse program provided by TNT Promotions. Any unauthorized broadcast or duplication is strictly prohibited. Please check first with your particular upline leadership before implementing any principles heard on the CD. This audio recording is meant for informational purposes only. No intention is made to treat or diagnose any disease or condition. Always consult with a physician regarding your own personal health. This recording is the property of TNT Promotions. Any unauthorized duplication or broadcast is strictly prohibited.